Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will the divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? Okay. We have the Emperor. I'm being called to take it reversed here. So with this Emperor reversed energy, there is somebody who has lost control of themselves. Okay. Somebody has lost control, complete control, utter control of themselves here. You know, as people, we all know, you know, who we are in terms of, you know, we are figuring ourselves out every day. But in this instance, this person's energy is the energy of somebody who is in a position of life where they can't understand what they've become or who they've become okay this person is in a sunken place and they feel very lost and confused about life like they feel like the days are just passing them by and they're just watching and and within that regard they're experiencing life in a way that they don't understand like this person's whole way of being and their world, it's not in their control anymore. Like they can't control their thoughts, their emotions, their body. Um, they can't control the people around them. It's like with this Emperor Reverse, this person, they were all about control at some point. That was the only thing they wanted, control and power, control and power. There was some form of mantra or um, life force that they attached themselves to. And there's a way in which things are happening in this person's life that's enabling them to be out of control, okay? Um, this person, they literally have to be some under some form of influence for them to be okay enough to participate within reality in a functional way without losing any control of themselves in life, their life, their world, their reality. It's like every day this person has to intake something or do something for them to be stable or be able to do life without being a roller coaster like they feel like this they think like this then they like this then they like that then they it's like this person is losing control of themselves and every day they're getting further and further away from themselves as well what's happening to this person is a tragedy like I do see, though, that this person, because of the energy they once stood in and who they chose to be, they manifested this for themselves. They called this in for themselves, this reality. 
that they now living there's no one to blame but themselves and they know that okay we have the the devil and we have the knight of cups we have aries energy we have libra energy we have capricorn energy we have pisces energy we have scorpio energy we have cancer energy as well with that being said beloved this person is in a very dark place in their life and they're looking for a way out every day is a battle they're in a truly dark place within themselves where they are watching their life and themselves just lose control like or be out of control and it being something they can't really stop this person at first they had hope that like things were going to be better but now they're losing hope because they're seeing no difference instead things are worsening it's gotten to the point where this person always wants to be around people in order for them to feel like they are okay or they always want to be like we have established under the form of some form of influence you know under the influence of some form of substance is what i mean to say and because of that they are codependent on people places things for them to be okay they this person can't be alone anymore they can't be with themselves anymore it's like they keep trying to escape reality by running away from themselves it's a very hard reality to live in where you're running away from yourself okay yeah this person is literally even they are even choosing to be around people they don't even like or people they, that don't even care about them or they don't even care about those people just to not be alone like they willing to go anywhere or do anything with anyone or you know continuously intake something here in order for them to feel like okay things are okay you know they 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 want to escape reality by creating a reality of their own that is not of truth where instead of them facing and addressing and literally looking at things for what they are they would rather escape that and try to live in a way of illusion or um delusion here It's like they're convincing themselves, like, even if this person doesn't like me, being around them takes my mind off things, so whatever, like, I'm going to do it. And everything that they're deciding to do with regards to what we've established, time keeps passing this person by. Their literal life is slipping through their fingers. Time just keeps passing by. All the days just be going. And they just sit back and watching everything just happen. And just they keep they on this pilot mode default state of being where they just keep doing something for the sake of remaining as sane as they can get but things wear off they can't be around someone 24 7 people have their own things going on they can't always be under the influence it wears off you know like reality will always remain no matter how they try to run or how much they try to hide or how sane they try to remain we have the five of pentacles we have double capricorn energy here with that being said beloved 
the energy that this person is in is like they feel like unseen unheard it's like worthless that's how they they feel that's how they thinking it's like i'm worthless i'm not anything nobody cares why am i even here it's like purposeless type of energy and with all that being said beloved i do see here that this person tried to win at all costs against you like this person was doing so much to alter your life in the worst way possible to change your life in the worst way possible and they're just right now in an energy of living in their true karma everything has balanced out when it comes to this situation involving you and this person and everyone is getting their fair share of justice you included whatever this person tried to do in the end it actually worked out for you it worked out in your favor you did not undergo or experience anything that this person wanted you to experience like instead it elevated you it evolved you or it made you a better version of yourself right it made you better we have the six of cups and because of that truth this person yeah and the judgment and the nine of cups this person wishes that they could turn the the the, the clock of time like turn the the hands of time back to the beginning of everything because this person knows exactly what they've been up to when it comes to you and this hardcore lesson or hardcore tr truth of karma that they're living in it's enabling them to want to change everything that they've done or said towards you against you because they know that it's because of all that that they're in the situation that they're in you know it's like they are getting what they've sent out something is being returned to sender here it's like you send negativity out into the world and you try to manifest that into another person's reality when it backfires on you it comes back 10 times more interest and imagine living a life that you wanted another person to live filled with the energy of purposelessness and worthlessness and feeling useless just lack you know within yourself you just don't see any value you don't see any just any anchor that's like this person is in that energy okay they can't look themselves in the mirror and say that they're okay content happy they feel blessed or they feel like they're healing they can't lie this person's getting worse bitterness anger rage jealousy envy all those things can make anyone sick in the mind sick in the emotions in the heart because it festers and it rots and it can control you and it makes you sick anything that you eat you become spiritually in a spiritual sense if you intake a lot of negativity you become a negative person if you always stand in a negative energy you embrace the negativity you won't see positivity or positivity will be masked as negativity to you you won't be able to transmute negativity to positivity because you are a negative person you won't be able to attract positivity because you are a negative person you've created this channel of being this frequency of being and you are just aligning with what you are tapped into in this world same goes with good people um generous people um healthy minded healthy spirited healthy uh emotionally healthy people you know you attract what you are and this person that's what's happening to them they're attracting exactly what they are and it's a mirror Im image that or a mirror effect that their karma is like unraveling for them that this is who you are and firstly the the accountability they need to take is that they should have never come against you like that it was wrong for them to think that they can do that to you and say all those things about you because in the end they're the problem 
this person they wanted other people to see you like the problem or like you're not who you are this person did a lot beloved to alter and change your life for the worst in the worst way possible and that's why they're in the energy of feeling like i wish i could turn back the clock of the clock of time or the hands of time this person cannot take their own karma they feel like a victim they feel like oh this is so traumatic but this is where they wanted you to be at though you were the one that was meant to be going through this you are the one that was meant to be losing control of yourself and control of your reality, your life, your world. You are meant to be the one going out and trying to distract yourself with things of the outside world because inside of you, you just keep running and running and trying to escape. It's dark. It's, it's, it's too much. You are the one that was supposed to be under the influence of this, that, and the third, just to cope. We have the Six of Wands, Six, Six Energy, Six of Cups, Six of Wands. We have Leo Energy here, more Scorpio Energy. Um, we have the Temperance. Sagittarius energy, double Sagittarius energy, and we also have Aquarius energy with the star. What I'm seeing here, what I'm channeling is this person, um, they feel like they're fighting a losing battle. It's like they have to admit defeat and bow down to their own ways it's like when you've been tapped into something for so long in life or tapped into a certain way of being tapped into a certain approach of reality approach of life the way you choose to be the choices and decisions you choose to make based on who you've chosen to be you know things of that nature they have to bow down to that they can't fight themselves like you did that you said that you went here you you went there you know so with that being said it's hard for this person to get out of the loop they're stuck within themselves they're stuck and 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 in the energy of <sighs> wishing that things could just be over for them like this person is literally becoming um a hazard in terms of you know suicide Something is truly wrong here. This person, as they're undergoing all of this, you're in an opposite energy. Like, I see you are being heard, seen, and understood in your reality. Like, things are going in your favor or your future is just very bright. And this person knows that and sees that as well and they feel like they are not thriving they are not tapped into life in a way that's going to enable them to be a better person they have done so much said so much that can't be undone and they just have to live with it but this person is trying to run away from all of that as much as possible or for as much for as long as they can but it's like a domino effect where as one thing keeps losing control within themselves, the other thing just loses control as well. And one main thing within this person that is not right at this time is their mind. And I see that this person's mind has been unstable or imbalanced. And now everything has just fisted and rotted and rotted within them. And their mind is taking a hit back to what we've established where in life you choose what you what you are on like you you tap into that frequency that vibration and you literally align with it if you choose to be a positive person or see things in a positive way that's how you know you'll be able to transmute negativity from positivity even if you experience negativity but if you are a negative person it's different because 
you won't be able to transmute negativity to positivity because you've chosen negativity, you know, and that's who you chose to be. So this person, they don't see hope in all of this. The hope that they had was that like things will get better for them and like eventually this will die off or they'll be able to cope more and be more stable and balanced within the situation but they just keep losing control something keeps falling apart it all just keeps just dissipating whatever this person did to you is the least of their problems right now at this time because real life has kicked in reality has kicked in they can no longer choose to be this delusional person and do this and say that and and try to alter and change things in another person's world reality and life in the worst way possible and then like live happily ever after no they're experiencing bad karma right now and i'm being called to emphasize on this person's mental health or mind space the frequency of the, the mind, the, the um, vibration of their mind is in a very dark place, like very. They came to the point where they can't tap out of it. You know, when you're just so within it that you can't tap out of it, just in and just keep going and sinking and going and sinking. This person is watching themselves just... It's like this person, everybody around them is used to their negativity. That's the thing about life. Like you tap into something and you attract that in your life, in your reality. People are going to get used to that. Like, oh, she's like this, we know. He's like this, we know. So when this person is in a negative place, no one is going to be concerned and nobody is going to have the level of concern that they require because they're just always in that state of being like speaking negatively, thinking negatively, feeling negatively, negativity, because that's the frequency and the vibration that they're in alignment with. So who's going to like question like, oh, maybe like this time, like, no, no one's going to think like that. People are just going to see you as you being yourself and that's what's happening to this person people are just seeing them as like they're just being themselves but things are falling apart like this person is losing absolute control i swear if they're not under the influence of something they can't function properly they will lose it like completely be imbalanced and unstable if they're not going out or being around this person and they sleep with the lights on like this person is escaping themselves running away from themselves but in the end they're the ones remaining like with every other contributing factor or this person being around them this substance in their body they're the ones that are losing control the emperor reversed again they're the ones that are losing control entirely. This person here is not okay at all. They're embarrassed, they're humiliated, they're ashamed of who they are becoming. Like, imagine watching yourself lose control of your own life and your own self. It's humiliating, it's embarrassing, it's shameful. Like when you are operating from a state of, I'm all about control. I have it under control. No one can tell me anything. No one can do anything to me. I'm going to do this to you, say this to you or about you. And yes, it's like an ego death here. We have the four of wands. We have the world. Like this person is afraid of themselves. And with all that being said, they have they still have the time to continuously watch you or inquire about you. Like this person is literally in the energy of still 
as much as they're going through what they're going through they are still in the energy of being like your personal stalker it's like this person will never stop watching you or being interested in your life like until the day they die like they'll never stop wanting to look into your reality like they'll never stop being curious about you they'll never stop wanting to for some of you be like you or be in your life or have what you have or do what you do like this person will forever feel tied to your energy in that way but it's their own entrapment it has nothing to do with you it's their own reality it has nothing to do with you they place themselves in that predicament they manifested and called in that reality and it it is what it is they literally in this shameful embarrassed humiliated state of being they still watching you and they watching you heal or find healing they watching you be better they're watching you transform they're watching you do life on your terms this person is watching you be a better version of yourself every day and it's killing them because they you are too far gone you literally went beyond their imagination of like where they saw you to be or how they imagined you to turn out in life they they looking at you and they looking at like oh you have a bright future you're going to be victorious or things are going to align for you and you're going to have foundation in your life within yourself as well like this person is looking at your world with such a heartbroken state of being because like they wish it was them but how do you wish things like that for yourself and then you go ahead and you want to destroy another person's life how are you going to attract that if you're not about it it's like somebody saying i'm a boxer but they've never even freaking they'd be scared to go outside even they've never even been in an altercation before but they i'm a boxer like i do this for real like no like when a boxer come through like they knock you out then what you know what i mean that's just an analogy a reference point a case study an example this person cannot continue to lie to themselves without those lies destroying them or killing them or just putting them in a predicament where they have to keep maintaining the lies with other lies and in the end you just weave this web and you're just too entangled in it to even figure out any strategy or plan or scheme to get out of the web like this person's life that, that's the tragic thing about all of this you do something to someone and then it's your life that falls apart and you have to watch them be okay regardless like why not just leave people alone you know what i mean why not just stay in your lane and just do you it works for you right cool that's who you are right cool don't take that and try to bring it in another person's life and have control authority and power over another person's life because look this is what happens to people that do that their life end, ends up this way now you are holding on for dear life and trying to keep it together because why you chose to be a devil and enemy in another person's life all that time invested in trying to do this and that to you say this and that about you you were doing you beloved and they were all up in your energy in that way trying to do this trying to do that trying to say this trying to say that time has gone by energy resources mental health depleting emotional health spiritual health everything and who's to blame except them because they're the ones that did that you brought that upon yourself you called it in you manifested it you did it you said it it's you you know that's where this person is at they have to understand it's their fault life can literally pass you by guys because you are literally <sighs> you are losing sight of reality because you are tapped into another person's reality like leave other people's things alone leave other people's realities alone if someone is the way that they are and it bothers you you don't need to do anything about it leave that person alone move on with your life we have the ten of pentacles upright you are literally going to still be blessed still be favored 
things are going to keep going in a favorable way, in a blessed way for you in terms of opportunities, in terms of um, passion, desire, um, goals, achievements, accolades, in terms of finances, you know, improvement of emotional health, improvement of mental health. It's like the outcome in your reality, you know, spiritual health, spiritual strength, social life is going to be better. Even if you are a homebody or you're introverted, extroverted, love life is going to be better. Even if it's a journey of self-love or you are looking for a relationship or you're in one, it's like just things are going to be good for you regardless like who is the fool in this situation who wasted their life in this situation and this is, i'm seeing it as like this person spends a significant amount of time trying to bring you down trying to cause um changes and alter your reality somehow in the worst way possible just for you to still be good just for you to still be okay in the end, like it's embarrassing for real. Like this person, Four of Pentacles energy. We have the Knights of Pentacles and then we have the Hierophant. Like they literally should have just left you alone. Whatever their problem was, whatever they, they were seeking vengeance or trying to come against you for no reason, however way this happened, this person should have chosen themselves like you chose yourself by not even giving them anything that has to do with you letting them be who they choosing to be do what they choosing to do that's why you have good karma in this situation because you didn't take away from yourself you chose yourself no matter what this person was trying to do peace is what you have in the end peace is what you will have in the end regardless this person's biggest lesson in life that they're learning currently is to leave people alone and stay in their lane mind their business leave people alone stay in their lane and mind their own business i'm being called to end this message here this was your message from god ra allah source the divine i'm grateful for your time and i thank you for joining me on the prophetic vessel show to those whom are keen or interested in becoming members of my patreon on my patreon i offer weekly sign readings for ten dollars per month based on love as well as spiritual path You'll find the link to my Patreon listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.